And Arizona's current uh, stay-at-home order expires at the end of the month, and Governor Doug Ducey says he wants to reopen the state's economy gradually. He says new information that comes in over the next two weeks will help determine when and how the economy starts to open back up. And here in Arizona, we continue to see increases in coronavirus cases across the state. Health officials are now reporting over 5,200 cases here in Arizona. And News 4 Tucson's Priscilla Casper has the latest on those totals just released this morning. Good afternoon, Priscilla. Well, that's right, Sean. Good afternoon. As of this morning, the Arizona Department of Health Services is now reporting 5,200 51 reported cases of COVID-19 in the state of Arizona. They're also reporting 208 deaths. That is 21 deaths more than the total number we reported to you yesterday. Let's get to a breakdown by county numbers. Pima County is reporting 963 reported cases and 65 deaths. Maricopa County is still reporting the highest number of cases with more than 2,700. As a reminder, all the reported cases around the state include people who have since recovered. Now, when it comes to testing, people in the 20 to 44 year old age range are the largest age group that is tested. And according to the state health department, more than 55,000 people have been tested and only 8% of those tested were positive. A Tucson Medical Center is coming up with a way for patients to see visitors. Starting today, visitors can now schedule a patio visit with patients. The visit will take place in courtyards around the facility. Visitors will have their temperature taken and given a mask. The University of Arizona is launching a new texting system to gather COVID-19 data. The information is gathered on a weekly basis with participants completing brief surveys on their phones. The program will connect users to necessary resources like food, medicine, medical treatment, and provide vital information on the pandemic. If you are interested in joining, you can text the word JOIN to the number on your screen. You can also sign up on the website azcovidtxt.org. Well, this year's Script National Spelling Bee has been canceled due to the coronavirus pandemic. The cancellation follows the Bee's announcement last month that it was suspending the national finals. It hoped to reschedule. However, officials say there is now no clear path to safely set a new date in 2020. It's the only time since World War II that the Spelling Bee has been canceled uh, the national finals since the program began in 1925. Back to you, Sean. All right, thank you, Priscilla. And just a reminder, folks, uh, the state is also working to help you get answers regarding the coronavirus outbreak. Arizona Governor Doug Ducey has set up a coronavirus hotline that will help answer all of your questions. You can call that number. It's right there on your screen, 211. And for the most up-to-date information on the coronavirus and how to protect you and your loved ones, just head to our website, kvoa.com slash the coronavirus.